Hey, what's up? Today I have a sick bike with me that I am busy test riding for the next couple of days. Just check this out. This is the Intense Primer. This is set at 140 more front and 130 more rear. This is a 29er trail bike, adjustable from 130 mils of travel to 115. This bike is super easy to change from 130 mil to 115. All that you do, right, is you head on this side of the bike, you unscrew this bolt quickly, and you just drop this to the 150 mil setting right over there, and then you tighten that bolt back in, and there you go, set at 150 mils of travel. That will take you five minutes to change on the fly, on the trail, if you want to change it to 115. But I don't feel the need to change it. I like it in the 130 mil setting. Yeah, here we go. So this is a full carbon frame. And as you can see, this yellow, well, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but this yellow really pops out in the sun, right? Whenever you go out, people have to wear their shades when they look at this bike. This yellow is just so bright. But the mixture between that yellow and the naval ship gray, man, that is superb. I'm loving it, man. Intense have done such a good job. Just look at it that is sick that is so hot oh check his little notch over here Ooh. oh man mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> man that just looks so good and it looks so dope that bike would look so good in my garage hashtag just saying it breaks my freaking heart that more companies don't think about things like this more often look at that Intense even supply you with one of these cover plates for your front derailleur mount. Let's get to the spec on the bike. You get the RC model of Pike on this bike. It's really only compression and rebound that you can set up on this bike. It's set at 140 mil travel. Cane Creek headset. It's got a full XD group set all the way around. That's XD brakes. XT shifter right over here. This is the XT 11 speed group set, 1 by 11. XT cassette at the back here, XT derailleur. Now, there's only one way to cheap out a bike, right? And that is to ride these Sky -E pedals. I'm still riding these Sky -E pedals and they are still working. So, I mean, that was a great buy. Race face crank right over here with a 32 inch chainring. Those are DT Swiss spline rims right over there with a DT Swiss hub. Then we can check some XT calipers right over there. Like I said, this is XT all the way around. Shimano Ice Tech 160 mil rotor at the back and a 180 mil rotor right in front over there. We have some intense branded grips. I must say that I am liking these grips. Even though these grips are quite thin, they've got these fins over here that just bloat it out a little bit and give you more area for grip and they do feel really comfortable when i'm wearing gloves this intense primer is running the js tuned suspension platform it looks quite similar to the vpp and it's also got these little ports over here so those little brass screws there those are bleed nipples so you can just remove that and grease the inside keep it nice and greased up for in those dirty long hard wearing sections of trail that you're riding or if you are in the wet you can just loosen that bolt there and just grease it up nice and good like the intense primer also features this rubber guard right at the bottom here it would be nice if it rose further up the down tube here just to protect that section because that's usually where the stones get thrown up by these tires if you're planning on putting on minions or those e13 trs tires those things chuck up stones like nothing else there's no lack of aftermarket frame protection out there so you can just buy one of those all mountain style frame protectors and just put that on your down tube if you're just buying a frame set make sure you get the right hubs because this is a boost bike yeah we also have a RockShox reverb that looks like 125 will drop he has a wtb silverado seat it looks like wtb is the go-to seat for a lot of these bike builds here we have a thompson elite x4 stem at 50 millimeters with zero degrees rise and also a staple for a lot of people are these rental bars now if you come from a motocross background then these are the bars for you these are the rental fat bars these are alloy bars these are pretty wide and they feel pretty dope while you're riding it that is flaming hot look at that sick supplying grip is the rubber from schwalbe these are the knobby nicks they could be a little bit grippier there's a bit of slip on these tires they do slide out i've had the hans dumps and they haven't been 
really good wearing for me so i've had bad luck with schwalbe tires unfortunately it's going to be a little while until i drop the on bike review on this intense primer right behind me because i'm heading out to europe for a couple of weeks i'm bringing you guys along with me so that we can ride some insane trails together the on bike review of the intense primer is just gonna have to wait until i get back so that's it that is the intense primer right over there if you like my channel hit the subscribe button thumbs up if you like the video videos every monday and wednesday on my channel thanks for joining i will catch you guys and girls on the next episode